Meaning, we can't think, well, I'll wait until everyone else awakens and then I will awaken as well. No, the, the general and the particular are equal, are equal. He says that it's not that everyone is part of the whole and therefore he does a specific individual work. Let's say out of a thousand people, one person awakens and then it's one part out of a thousand that does its work. Incorrect. The particular and the collective are equal means that one can do a work that is as the whole collective. We don't understand this law, but that's how it works in spirituality. One equals all. It's, it's not understood, but that's how it works. It is a very, very problematic law in terms of understanding it and grasping it. It gets a little clearer, now I hear astrophysicists talking about, you know, the, those who engage in quantum physics and other uh, realms, fractals, etc. So they start talking about it, that the whole equals the individual, that, that the whole exists in each and every individual. And so we also discussed it and and engaged in it that one person can bring correction to the whole world and not because he is one unique individual but because in each of us it's like what we explain that there is nothing more than ten what about the others what about other tens around you no we can't grasp it but one ten only that's it. What I see is this disruption in my vision. I'm seeing incorrectly, and you know, it's like my my head spins, and I, and I see many many tens, but that's an incorrect perception. There is one ten. There is one person. And therefore, the whole and the particular are equal is very profound. And with regards to what we discussed also in the, in the first part of the lesson today, the obligation to disclose the method of correction in the modern world in relation to the people of Israel, anti-Semitism, the nations of the world, our friends from the whole world, etc., we have to see in each and every one that how it belongs to each and every one to everyone's soul. No.